Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to manage currencies and pipe drive. So if you would like to change the default currency or you would like to understand a bit better how does it work or you're overwhelmed by the amount of currencies that you are seeing on your deals, then keep watching because this video will probably be helpful for you. So let's start, of course, by logging into our pipe drive. And there are two things, uh, two currencies in pipe drive that you have to remember about. The first one is the default currency, the main currency for your organization. So if you would like to have all of your deals summarized in a given currency, this can be euro, this can be dollar, this can be any currency that you would like to have the default for your country. This is the one that you will set as a default one. But this doesn't change the fact that within your pipeline, you can have multiple currencies attached to a certain deal. So, for example, you can sell part of your products to United Kingdom and you can have GBP for these ones. You can have clients from European Union, so you can have Euro and you can have clients in any other country uh, with a currency specific to this country. But still, your summary, this metric here, will be visible in the default currency that you will set for your organization. I hope this makes sense. So how do we change this one from euro that you can see here to, for example, US dollar? In order to do that, we are going to go to personal preferences here. So the upper right corner and your avatar, personal preferences. And here you are going to see the default currency that I have set to euro. We are going to change this to United States dollar, you can see here US dollar, and you need to hit save at the bottom, remember about that. And this should work immediately. I'm going to switch to a deal view, but just in case I'm going to hit the refresh button because some of these settings, you know, take a, a minute or, or a couple of seconds to be in place. And here, boom, you can see that right now we have the summary in dollars, not in euros, like just a moment ago. Although I can have still some of the deals in euros and in dollars in here. So as you can see, the currency is different only for one deal in this case, but the summary here is in dollars. And if I'm going to go to the particular deal and I'm going to change the currency here from US dollar to, I don't know, Barbados dollar and on a different deal, I'm going to change this currency to Naira, Nigerian Naira and so on and so forth. This doesn't actually matter because you are going to still see the Australian dollar here. So let's say that you have very international sales team and still the summary uh, here is in dollars. So. Although you have different currencies, this actually does the math on the back end and it shows you the proper amount. But if you do not want to have the list of those currencies here, which in pipe drive might be a very, very long list, because I think by default they have around 180 or 150 um, currencies, then you go to upper right corner to your avatar icon. And this time you are going to company settings, not to a personal preferences, but to company settings. And here you have the currencies tab. And under currencies tab, you can see all of the active and deactivated. So as you can see around 180, I was not that far off. And you can deactivate particular currencies. So in order to do this fast, you only need to click those three dots here on the right and click deactivate all unused currencies. So in this case, all of the currencies that do not have a deal in any of your pipelines will be just, you know, deactivated temporarily. I'm going to click the, and as you can see, I'm only left with the ones that I have just put and attached to the deal. So Australian dollar, Barbados dollar, Nigerian Naira, uh, and Polish Zloty and so on. So these are the currencies that are going to stay with me on the deal view. Let's check this out and see if this is really the case. I'm going to go to the deals, hit the refresh just in case, and let's check out one of these deals and see if really we are going to see the difference here on the list. So I'm going to go to the currency here, boom, 
And as you can see, we are only now left with the six currencies. So this has narrowed down our, our list uh, significantly. So uh, in case you would like to, you know, get back to these currencies, you can always do that by accessing this company settings button and then going to the uh, currencies tab. And here you can play with all of the currencies, even add a custom currency if you need to do that. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then hit the subscribe button and let me know what other videos about Pipedrive or B2B sales and marketing you would like to see. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.